All right, in this video, I'm going to discuss um, a proof f uh, regarding the probability of a complement. So um, to start the proof, let's start with writing what is the theorem that we're going to prove, okay? So this is the theorem. The theorem is that for every um, event, and I'm gonna use um, capital A as my event. So for every event, a, the probability of the complement, okay, equals one minus the probability of that event, event A. All right, and so let's go ahead and prove this theorem. That's what we wanna do here. Um, before I prove it, let's just remember what is, what is a complement, okay? Um, suppose this is my sample space. This is my sample space S, right? Uh, if, let me use a different color here. If this is A, this is um, the elements in event A, then the elements in event A complement would basically be everything else in the sample space, okay? So that's the definition of what a complement is. All right, so if I want to find, um, so basically what I wanna do is I wanna find out what, well, what is the probability of that complement, right? Um, to do that, first, um, I'm going to need to know what is the probability of the sample space? What is the probability of the sample space? It is one, right, by the definition of probability. And um, I'll provide a link to the, my video on the definition for probability, but this is basically axiom two um, in the definition for probability. So the probability of the sample space is one. All right, so once you know that, then you can see, okay, we can see from this diagram that the probability of the sample space is exactly the same thing as the probability of A, right? Um, union, the probability of a complement, right? Because a union, a complement is the sample space. So this must also be equal to one, all right? So a union, the sample, uh, a complement, remember what is union? Union means a, an, every element that belongs in a or a, belongs in a complement. Um, all of those elements are gonna make up our sample space, okay? Next, I need to know that these guys, A and A complement, are disjoint. So um, what does that mean? Remember, so I'm gonna go and write this down. A and A complement are disjoint. What does it mean to be disjoint? Disjoint means that they share no elements. Okay, so because A and A complement are disjoint, we know that this, the probability of A union, A complement, this is going to equal the probability of A plus the probability of A complement. Okay. Directly, this follows directly from the fact that they are disjoint events, okay? And we know that this equals one from up here, right? This equals one. All right, so once you're here, we've almost proved the theorem. Last thing I need to do is just a little bit of algebra to get the probability of a complement by itself. So um, what I'll do is, is I'll go ahead and subtract the probability of A from both sides of this equation here, right? And I'll be left with the probability of A complement equals one minus the probability of A, right? So that was basically, that is my proof of this theorem.